Okay, second graders, this front part you're gonna do with the teacher, so you don't have to do that at your desk. Just make sure your name's at the front so I know who each work page belongs to. Go to the inside. Okay, you're gonna write a number sentence to solve the problems, make drawings to match the number sentences. So let's get started. Number one, Ray has two bookshelves in his room. If he has eight books on each shelf, how many books does Ray have in all? So I'm gonna, there's two shelves. So on each shelf, I'm gonna put eight books. Here are my eight books. Okay, so here are my bookshelves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's one bookshelf and the second bookshelf. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are two bookshelves, so it's gonna be two times eight, because eight on each, which equals 16 bookshelves in all if I count them all. Okay, number two. Mika has four groups of playing cards. That's an important number, I'm gonna circle it. Do the same, please. If there are four playing cards in each group, another important number, how many does Mika have all together? So I'm gonna draw four groups of four. So I'm gonna split them into four groups and put four in each. One, two, three, four. There's one. One, two, three, four. There's two. One, two, three, four. There's three. And last one. One, two, three, four. There's the fourth group. Now if I count them all together, that's four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So my answer is sixteen. And my problem looks like this. Four times four equals sixteen. How does a drawing help you solve a problem? Do that on Seesaw, please. Go to the next page. Okay, the directions say write number sentences to solve the problems, make drawings to match the number sentences. I'm gonna do number three with you and then I want you to do four and five on your own. This is a very short lesson. So number three, I'm gonna read it and highlight or circle the numbers that I need to know. Bo planted two gardens with 10 plants in each garden. How many plants did Bo plant in all? So he has two gardens and 10 in each. So I'm gonna draw those. I'm gonna do, here are my two gardens. One, two, and I'm gonna put 10 in each garden. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You should be doing this on your paper too. So there's one garden in the other garden. I'm gonna put 10 as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. How many does he have in all? So there's 10, 20. So my multiplication sentence looks like this. 10 times two equals 20. Okay, and number four. You're gonna do this one on your own. Draw the picture in the box to the right. Anita has three packs of baseball cards. I'm gonna get my follower up. Anita has three packs of baseball cards. If there are five cards in each pack, how many baseball cards does Anita have all together? Write the multiplication sentence with the product, the answer, and draw a picture. So there should be three packs, one, two, three, and put five in each of those packs. Number five. There are four children with balloons. If each child has three balloons, how many balloons are there in all? In all. So you can draw your four children carrying three balloons each. How many in all? So write your sentence down here. Let me move this. Down here, one blank times blank equals the product. How many balloons in all? When you are done, have an adult check it. There is no back and then take it home.